So after a somewhat two month break, welcome back to 5 Minutes with Cyril. And today I want to talk about the base filter and explain you in five minutes what the base filter actually is. So the base filter is a technique for recursive state estimation. So it is used in robotics and autonomous driving and a lot of other disciplines to estimate the current state of a system given observations, so measurements, and controlled commands. And it's a very prominent framework, but it's only a framework, it's not an actual realization that is used, for example, in localization when we want to estimate where a system is at the current point in time. And what it does, it performs online state estimation or describes a way for doing online state estimation. And that means we are taking our belief at time t and want to advance it to belief at time t plus one, taking only into account the most recent observation and only taking into account the most recent control command. And that is what this recursive state estimation is about taking the previous belief and advancing it to the next state. And if we derive the base filter equation, then we can actually see this recursive pattern popping up. And in order to perform this derivation, what you need is typically base rule, um, performing a Markov assumption a few times, and uh, the law of total probability. And then you can quite easily derive an equation describing how this recursive belief actually works. So what the base filter uses is basically a so-called observation model um, or measurement model and also a control model or a motion model. So what those models do is the first one, so the observation model describes what's the likelihood of obtaining the observation Z given I'm in state X. And the uh, motion model or control model basically tells you how likely is it the state advances from xt to xt plus one, given that we are executing the motion command u or the control command u. So you can see uh, the control command u, for example, is how hard is the gas pedal being pressed in a car or what's the steering command that you're sending to your mobile robot. And a sensor reading can be the result of a laser range scanner or a camera that is mounted on your vehicle. And the recursive phase filter framework tells you how you can recursively perform this state estimation. Um, so there are different realizations of the base filter because the base filter is just a framework. The most popular ones are probably the Kalman filter, extended Kalman filter, we have the uncentered Kalman filter, we have particle filters, we have discrete filters such as the histogram filters. These are all realizations of a recursive base filter. That means they all follow the same equations, they all follow the same structure in order to perform online state estimation. They differ, however, in the assumptions that they make about the underlying state estimation problem. For example, the Kalman filter assumes the world is Gaussian and everything is linear. The extended Kalman filter relaxes the assumption about linearity and only performs the linearized version of this. The particle filter, for example, um, relaxes the assumption that everything should be Gaussian and allows you to represent arbitrary distributions, but this comes at a higher computational cost. So all those different realizations have advantages and disadvantages that you can exploit if you understand the underlying state estimation problem that you want to solve. And the base filter basically gives you a framework around that. Um, and it's always used for online state estimation. If you want to do offline state estimation, then there are better techniques that you can use. So offline means you collect all your data beforehand, go back to your computer, you process the data and want to have the state of the system at every point in time. That would be offline state estimation. If you, however, on a real world system like a real robot or a real autonomous car, you want to perform online state estimation because the system is operating and during operation it needs to know, for example, where it is in order to emit new commands and steer safely through the environment. And this is an online state estimation problem and for that the base filter is the most prominent tool to use. There you find it in basically all robot navigation uh, stacks, you will find it in all systems that use autonomous cars, um, GPS systems used to be a common filter, um, so also a realization of the recursive base filter in order to perform state estimation. So base filters are everywhere and it's important to understand what they are doing. So thank you very much for your attention.